G'day mates, in today's video I want to kick off talking about the solo and trio late game cash cups We didn't even know we were gonna have them this season and now epic has announced them with less than four days until they start We also got a bunch of information on how the divisional cups are gonna work Plus some very very important information on how region locking is gonna work You want to pay attention This video is one of my most important ever because a lot of people are gonna make a mistake and get themselves Accidentally region locked for an entire season. I also want to talk about what is going on with NA East and NA West combining into Central NA and why I think that might not be happening anymore. There's a lot to talk about. Let's just jump into it. Let's jump into talking about the tournament format. We got a bunch of information today on things like the Divisional Cup, which we already knew about, and I'll get to that in a second, but we also had tournaments announced that we didn't even know were happening. We have the late game solo and trio quick cups being announced and the solo and trio late game cash cups. So we do have some cash prize money for the late game cups. I'm guessing this is because they were supposed to be on during last season. So Epic has now just put them on this season, which means we are going to have a whole bunch of tournaments. The quick cups are actually starting in a few days from now. If you go to the compete tab, you will see them. But the cash cups, which I'm going to be focusing on more, also start in three days. We have the trio late game cash cup. We were actually supposed to have a solo late game cash cup a couple days ago on the 12th, but I'm guessing they were having an issue with the game mode. I am imagining if they've announced these, it means they finally fixed the game mode after an entire season, or I'm pretty sure at this point, like an entire chapter of having issues with it. So I'm guessing it's working. The prize pool is pretty solid. As far as EU, if you're playing in trios, you're going to walk away away with three oh sorry three thousand dollars in eu for solos three thousand dollars for trios if you're on NA East, you're going to walk away with two thousand dollars for solos and two thousand two hundred fifty for winning it so it's a decent prize pool obviously it goes deeper than that as well eu top 30 are going to walk away with money in solos so it will be a tournament worth playing it should be really fun as far as the region locking i'll talk about this in the divisional cup as well but these are only region locked per event so you can only play in one region per tournament so if you want to play eu one week and then play NA East next week, you're able to, but you can't play EU and NA East on the same day for the same tournament. I have no clue why Epic is region locking so many tournaments so heavily. I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. I get it. You know, if an EU sweat is taking your money, but honestly, at this point, if someone's beating you on that much higher of a ping, I think they deserve it. And I think Fortnite being always a super open esport that anyone can play, not join to an org. You just have to have a PC, have enough arena points, you can queue up has always made the most sense like fncs makes sense to region lock because it's the major regional tournament and now it qualifies you for a LAN event for your region so that makes sense but every tournament outside that i don't know why it's region locked i want to hear your opinion in the comments down below let me know if you think they should or shouldn't be region locked but they should be a bit of fun i think you only have to have 2000 arena points to play in them i believe they're just going to be contender division like basically every other tournament this season now, let's talk about the Divisional Cups. And I'm saying this at the start because I want to make it very, very clear. Please share this with your friends. Let them know it is very clear in the rules that whatever region you play the Placement Cup in for the Divisional Cups, you are region locked to that region for the entire season. So Placement Cup is taking place today and tomorrow. Swing by my Twitch channel. I'm doing a big viewing party, giving away V-Bucks, all that good stuff. But make sure you play your region. So things like the, the, the Quick Trio Cash Cup I just talked about, if you play EU, you can then play NA next week. Not the end of the world. A little bit frustrating. It is what it is. But because these placement cups get you into your division for the divisional cups, and then because these divisional cups get you to FNCS, you are locked to that region for the entire season. Please do not mess up. Please pick your actual region because this is going to be really, really frustrating if you mess it up. And I don't know if Epic's going to have a system to switch your region. So... Let's move on from that. Divisional Cups, we have the Placement Cup today and tomorrow. Like I said, this is super important because it's your chance to get straight into Elite Division. If you don't play the Placement Cup, you're going to be stuck in Contender Division. If you place highly, but you don't get into Elite, you'll be in Challenger Division. As far as when the actual Divisional Cups start, we finally got a heads up on exactly what's going on with these. So they are going to start as early as 4th of January. So after these two Placement Cups, we're then going to have a couple of weeks break from the Divisional Cups. Then we're jumping straight back in with Week 1 on the 4th of 
January, which honestly, I'm pretty happy about. Epic is obviously going to take a break over Christmas and New Year's, but they've got quite a few tournaments on. We now have a trio late game cash cup. We have divisional cups starting up in the first week of January. We have these placement cups midway through December. It's honestly about as small of a break as, we, as we've ever had in competitive. And I think that's a good thing. I think a break is good for everyone to get a rest, especially Epic staff. But then we jump in straight back in in early January rather than waiting until like mid to late January like we have in the past. Unfortunately, we didn't get any more information on some of the other tournaments like the Victory Solo Cash Cups, which is obviously the only solo event we really have this season. They aren't in the Compete tab. They haven't cleared up any of the rules. We also didn't get any more information on FNCS, which they did say specifically in the blog post previously would be out in January. So I'm guessing we'll probably get something about the Victory Solo Cash Cup with that. And I'm guessing the reason why they're delaying this or not talking about it now is there's going to be some kind of solid announcement with that FNCS blog about a LAN event. And I'm going to talk about what I'm thinking is going on with an NA LAN event in a second with NA East and NA West combining, but we have no more information, unfortunately. The other thing we found out that was quite interesting was apparently the no build fill quick cups. So if you guys don't know, there's duo quick cups. One of them is no builds. One of them is builds. Apparently you can just play it with your actual duo. So the whole point of these was to queue up as a solo. So you get filled with a random teammate and then play with them. And then next game you play with another random teammate. I guess the idea is to find teammates and meet people and make friends. I mean, Fortnite, Epic staff have clearly never tried to find a random teammate from a Discord before if they think that's how that's going to go. But if you look at the leaderboards, they're all just duos. Apparently, people are just queuing up together into this, playing every single game together, and then obviously dominating because they're actual duos going up against Phil's and then just winning the tournament. There's no prize money, so I guess no one's really going to care, but I have no idea how this happened or if it's going to be fixed, but we have that as well. I thought I would take this chance to clear up some confusion about what's going on with NA East and NA West combining into a central NA region, only having NA rather than NA East and NA West like we have with EU. I've covered this on my channel, on my TikTok, on my YouTube. It looked like there was a lot of signs pointing towards this. Amazon added servers in central United States, which meant that for the first time, Fortnite could make a central NA region and combine them. Also, the FNCS format is looking a little bit weird. Every other region, including tiny regions like OCE, are gonna have top 200 duos qualify into elite, whereas NA East and NA West, for whatever reason, only have top 100 duos. So it looks like they were combining as a region. As I've looked into this more and more and I've talked to some experts in the field, it would be a bit of a technological nightmare. Apparently it would be near impossible or would be incredibly, incredibly difficult and therefore very risky for Epic to do. And when you think about it, the casual play base, which is what Epic cares about the most, is doing really well right now. If chapter four, numbers are thriving, queues are fast, the reason why it made sense to combine them is really only competitively. There's already no NA West broadcast. They could combine the prize pools. It would make NA more competitive towards EU. And I'm starting to think that's a bit more of what they're going to do because I still think something is happening between NA East and NA West being combined because again, that top 100 duos is very specific. And not only that, they went out of their way to specifically tweet about it this week on the Fortnite competitive Twitter. So it's not a mistake. It's very deliberate and they're bringing attention to it. What I'm starting to think is it's leading to some kind of LAN event or something where NA East and NA West are going to verse each other or it's going to be combined in that way. So maybe this is going to be Fortnite putting on the first regional LAN event in a very long time and they're going to test it on NA. Not saying they're not going to do maybe an EU regional LAN event in the future, but a lot of us are used to LAN events for Fortnite now being international, like the Invitational, the best players from all around the world. But what if Epic was moving at least in the big regions like NA and EU into doing regional LAN events. It would make the most sense they start with NA. They are based out of NA. It makes it way easier for passports because it's not a whole bunch of different countries trying to travel. It makes it way easier for visas, for tax purposes. Just business-wise, it would make a lot of sense if they were going to run a regional LAN to do it on NA. So I don't have any evidence for this. The only thing we have is the leak I talked about recently mentioning the New York major, but I thought I'd clear that up. All right, guys, that does it for another video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please chuck a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.